Welcome to the Joyful Angel Oracle. I'm Angelia Joy, and I'm here to offer you a reading using Doreen Virtue's Angel Therapy Oracle Cards. Before we begin the reading today, I'd like to open with an invocation. As I read through the invocation, if you would set your intention as to what messages you would like to receive from today's Oracle Card offering. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready to understand. And so it is. Okay, I'm just going to take the top three after I've shuffled them here. So you can see the deck. First card books. Your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. I have gotten so many messages about writing, about picking up a project from the past that you've put on the shelf, about not being afraid of speaking your truth. So writing books is, is big for me. I haven't been reading a lot of books lately. Um, I do belong to a book club on Facebook. Um, it's a very loose and informal book club, but I haven't been reading any other books right now, um, which I find curious more than anything else. <laughs> but I think I've, I've needed time to focus on me and not um, delve into the characteristics of others' lives. It's been more of a personal inward journey uh, this past year so the um, the message for me here is the the writing <laughs> the writing of the books um, that might lead to editing or selling spiritually based books so um, I'm open to all of it but as you see she has the book open in front of her and the words don't get on the page unless you sit down and write them so if you've been encouraged to write or you've been led to read, like my friend was led to a book at a bookstore. Um, so listen, the universe is trying to send us you know, the, the signs that we, we can interpret and that we personally can, um, can use to manifest you know, the blessings and the, the, the treasures of the journey that we're on. So the next card is the base chakra. Choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, and finances as your words determine your outcome. So this is as you believe it, so shall it be. Um, and I, I like that this, she's in her blue. It's hard to see in this with this filter on, but she's got a blue dress and a blue shirt on and that's that's communication and I think for me it's more about the communication within that you're holding with yourself you see back here is where all the farmland is and the little homes and the houses and she's up here on the hill um, gathering the the small feathers or flowers <laughs> feathers on her wings but gathering the small flowers around her um, but she's off by herself so um, this is, to me, is, is what you talk to yourself about and how you speak to yourself. Um, really needs to be in the highest, most positive form that you can, you can be in right now. Um, and if it's not a habit for you to have positive thoughts as you think of your home and your career, it's a good habit to, to establish. <laughs> um, to... Um, to really bring about the, and I, I have the, you know, outlandish and wild and um, crazy dreams, and I've really had to sit down this past couple weeks and, and ask myself, okay, do you really want that to happen? Is that really what you want your life to be like? And if it's not, really get clear and focused on what it is that, that you do want to bring into your life. 
and how you do want um, your journey and your adventure to go on. The universe likes to be creative and will still take you places that you could not fathom if you will allow it to. But uh, and when you get there, you will you will see the manifestations of everything you ever wanted and more. And it all starts with with how you talk to yourself and how you believe in in yourself. Okay, third card. Throat chakra. The angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. This has been a big big for me. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was on my my morning walk. And it's a good five mile walk. So and it's a I, I don't run through it. I don't, you know, 15, 16 minutes a mile is good for me. Um, and I've been doing it for a while, so it, I'm, I'm not in great shape, but it's not a walk that it stresses me or tires me. And last, uh, the other day when I was walking home, I was, in my mind, I was having a conversation with, some of my biological family members and as a child I often um, did not feel like my voice was heard my thoughts or my experience was was worthy because everybody else had their own already and when I spoke it was it was not heeded it was not listened to um, I would be asked why would you do a thing and I would explain try to explain why and then the, the judgment came from that until I just quit offering a response and I closed off my throat chakra entirely and it hurt physically it hurt and as I was walking home and I was in conversation with and my siblings and my mother mentally in that conversation with them and uh, they were asking me questions like why do you think we don't like you or why do you feel that way about this and and I felt my throat chakra close up again and I was rounding the corner on the long stretch of road and I could feel the airway closing off and it was struggle to breathe physically uh, I felt the panic and the heartache set in again and and as it washed over me I told them go ahead and judge me go ahead and cast hold me whatever place you feel like you have to but I do not have to stop believing in me I do not have to stop believing that my what my purpose on on this planet is whether you think it's a grandiose and bigger than me and I'm not worthy of it it doesn't matter because I know and last week there was a comment made and the end of it said no one gets me but it was written K-N-O-W and O-N-E, capital O. And it was no one. There's one person that gets me. And that's the only person that has to. And that person's me. And as I rounded the corner, and that thought came through me, back then as well, so to see it last week was beautiful. As that thought came through me, while I was walking, the breathing, the airway opened up, the breathing eased. I still heard them, but I heard them as I was walking away. Like, you are welcome to your journey, and I'm going to go walk mine. And maybe one day we'll come together, <laughs> maybe one day we won't. But I have to honor my journey. And that's what I'm asking all of us to do this week, is to really 
sit with yourself and discover what it is that you can't have, can't do without in your life. What is your dream? What do you want? You're the only one that knows, and you're the only one that can discover it. You're the only one that can allow it to flow through you. And when you do that, you bless us all. So, I thank you, and uh, I'll see you again. <laughs>